When you talk about the true legends of junior hockey in Canada, uh, without question, Mavity is, is one of the top two or three names you think about. And he coached over 1,500 games. Uh, he had almost 700 wins. Big personality, and uh, he was a fiery guy. You know, when he got behind the bench, nobody wanted to win more than Larry Mavity. He was somebody that was an encyclopedia when it came to the game of hockey and somebody with incredible insight and always had wise advice, sage advice, and loved the game. I've been everywhere, man. I've been, I've been everywhere, man. That was a song that is so befitting of Mav. He had the opportunity to play professionally in Denver, in Salt Lake City, in Toledo, in Port Huron, and then in Chicago, in the WHA. You know, back in the early 70s, the WHA, the World Hockey Association, came into existence, and a lot of guys that had played in the minors got big-time jobs in a, in, a, in a league that rivaled the NHL. And Mav was one of those guys, and, and he was one of the top defensemen in the WHA. What the general public never got to see is how he affected so many people in the hockey world and how many individuals he gave second chances to or even gave the opportunity to make the National Hockey League. He just was able to get the best out of people and just had this innate gift that he could, he could uh, communicate and relate to young hockey players. If you look at the teams that he coached and how they played, certainly later in the year, his teams would go through a wall for him. Growing up in Belleville, Ontario, I was, uh, Mav was larger than life. Following the Bulls, going to the Quinney Sports Center, watching him in his cowboy boots out on the bench. He was intimidating, he was scary, but uh, getting to know him over the years, found out what a big teddy bear he was and how much he cared about everyone around him. He had a great heart and the one thing I could say, he genuinely cared about every single player on the team and he definitely was instrumental in my career in making it to the next level. Two games before playoffs, you know, my mom passed away and I remember sitting in that car and Matt driving me home and, you know, he's, he's such a gracious man that I knew that there was nothing to say, nothing to be said. And, you know, he's kind of always like a father for my whole life. He was my coach when I was 15 years old. I was lucky enough to play four seasons for Mav in Belleville. Um, he helped me um, mature as a young player and enabled me to get drafted to the NHL, have an NHL career. Having the opportunity to coach with Mav, the big takeaway I had from that was um, just how loyal he is, how much he treats you like family, how much he's always got your back and is there for you. He just knew he cared. Even when he was yelling at you, even when he was calling you every single name in the book, which I deserve you know, on many occasions as a 19-year-old kid, he was keeping me in line and he was caring. And I always appreciated that from Mav and, and told him as much when, when I left and when I moved on to the NHL. I played 13 years of professional hockey. I made the NHL. And without Mav, I would have never gotten to that level. He taught me what it was like to be a professional, how to show up every day in practice, how to be a consistent player in games, don't take any nights off. Worked on things that I didn't do well, and at the same time, knew what my strengths were and helped me build around those to get me to the pro level. I was in a car accident with Ally Frady 35 years ago or more, and uh, who was at the hospital first uh, after it happened was Larry Mavity, and Mav was there every step of the way with my recovery and making sure I was all right. People called him Trader Mav because he was not shy about making deals, especially at the trade deadline. Like every year it seemed like he'd make two or three deals at the trade deadline. And most of it was usually about adding more team toughness for the playoffs, because he knew in the playoffs to win, uh, you know, you had to have team toughness. Mavity really liked tough players. He never traded a player out of spite. He never did anything to hurt anybody. He always looked for the best opportunity for the player he was trading away. He would try to put that player in a good situation on another team and he typically wouldn't want to do the trade unless he could do that. What people don't get to see or very few people got to see is the true Mav where he was the kindest, gentlest, most honest, laid-back individual who would do anything for you. 